And welcome once again to the press center of the FIDE Candidates Tournament. It is official, Gukesh is the winner and the challenger for the World Championship <laughs> this year. So later this year, he will play the World Championship match against the World Champion Dean Liran. And he's here with his uh, second, uh, Grigory Gajewski. Uh, please tell us how it was for you. What are your emotions right now at this moment? Uh, yeah. Right now, I'm just so, uh, so relieved and so happy. I was following, uh, following this crazy game and I was completely... Uh, uh, emotional, but now I'm after the game finished. Now I'm feeling uh, feeling quite quite good. Yeah. Uh, Gregorian, how was it for you as a second? I guess uh, your nerves were also probably gone. Like uh, was a nerve wracking game between Fabiano and uh, Jan. I mean, the main problem is that I'm not playing myself, so I have too much time and I have to follow all the games and. Uh, Obviously, today there were too many emotions going on, and the bar was going crazy in the game between uh, Fabiano and uh, Jan. So, yeah, it was quite nervous, but uh, luckily it ended well for us. But it looks like during the event, Gukesh didn't uh, give you much uh, reasons to be nervous. He was playing really solid. So, how do you assess his performance overall? Well, obviously, we are very happy with his performance, and. Uh, not just the fact that he did so well in terms of uh, the result, but also in terms of the quality of the games. Already a couple of days earlier, I was convinced that, uh, not convinced that, he's going, that he was going to win the tournament, but uh, simply the quality of his moves was, uh, was so high that uh, he didn't do too many mistakes. He had one accident in, the, uh, in his first game against uh, Alureza. But apart from that, uh, there were hardly any mistakes in his games, so uh, I think he deserved that win. Gukesh, who else uh, was in your team? Uh, your father is here. Who else? Yeah, uh, in in Toronto, I came with my dad and uh, Gaevsky. But obviously, the support system is uh, huge, and you know my. Uh, my family, my friends, and uh, coming to my uh, team, um, you know, it's it's the journey is only halfway halfway through. So, I mean, they know how uh, how much grateful I am to them. But uh, I would not like to take their names. But each one of them played a huge, huge role, and I'm and I'm so grateful uh, grateful for everyone. You're just 17 years old, so you're the youngest challenger in the in history of the World Chess Championships. Uh, does it give you some special feeling of accomplishment that you did it in such a young age? Um, right now, I'm mostly just happy about winning the tournament. I don't really care about the uh, youngest and all these uh, all these records, but you know it's a nice thing to nice thing to say. Yeah. Well, let's give the floor to the journalists, please. That is your chance to ask the questions. Who will be first? Oh, please. Uh, f first, let's uh, first get the microphone. Okay. Hello, I'm Sim Simon Gravel from La Presse newspaper in Montreal. Hey. Uh, there's a big crowd uh, outside, the, in the you had a lot of fans, it seems, uh, throughout the tournament. Uh, which uh, role did it play in the in your performance? Did it have any impact on you? Oh, uh, it was really nice to see all the people um, here and supporting uh, supporting me and cheering for chess, uh, and. Uh, yeah, I usually don't try to, uh, you know, think about or interact with uh, with the outside world a lot during the tournament. But surely, whenever they they cheered during the games and after the games, it was really nice to see that. And uh, yeah, their support means a lot to me. More questions? Yes, but, but please, but please use the microphone. Hi, Gukesh. So I am uh, Marion from Al Jazeera. I have one question. So you won the tournament, but also over Indian won tonight. I mean, the, the match. So is it like uh, even more? Uh, even, are you even more proud for your country? I mean, is it? Uh... Um, sure, it's always a, 
honor representing uh, representing my country and uh, to achieve something big uh, for myself and my country it's uh, it's very special to me more questions okay gukesh yesterday i asked what you thought about your lack of experience and today you proved it did not matter with a very comfortable draw against tikaru i know it is probably far too early to ask but you have proved yourself to be a very confident and capable player what is your preliminary strategy for the upcoming world championship match um <clears throat> i haven't really thought about it a lot i just got to know the result and uh yeah i haven't had any time to be honest but the main strategy will just to be play good moves and uh be in the right uh, mindset so yeah uh and obviously i'll uh i'm very excited to play the world championship and really looking forward to all the preparations and being there you said before that you wanted to win this tournament but uh when did you have the feeling that the, the where was the point where you thought you could really do it um i wasn't 100% sure till the last game i mean even after the last game to be honest but um but uh, if i had to pinpoint a moment where i really felt this could be my moment was probably after the 7th game after i lost to firuja i i mean i was qu obviously quite upset after that but during the rest day i already felt so good uh, even though i just had a painful loss i was feeling at my absolute best and uh yeah i don't know maybe this loss just gave me so much motivation so yeah uh after the 7th round i really started to feel feel at my absolute best okay next question is from leoncho thank you this is leoncho garcia from el país in spain gukes congratulations if you analyze your performance here which are the key elements of this very important victory why gukes is the winner of the candidates tournament um i i think a lot of factors go into it um the main thing was uh, that i was just in a, a right mindset throughout the event from the start to the end i was i was in good spirits and as fully motivated and uh, i really wanted to win the event and um yeah when all these things come together also it, it was it, it was helpful that i was uh, sharp and of chess wise and uh i managed to play some good chess but yeah i would say mainly my um mental attitude in this tournament was very very good more questions we'll pass the microphone Okay. I, yeah, I've just got a quick question as well. Um there was a period there where for about 15 minutes you went back to your hotel. Uh was there anything you were doing in there to relax? Were you watching? We were discussing here if you were doing anything to relax, taking your mind off the tournament or anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean I those 15 minutes were probably the most stressful of this entire <laughs> tournament. <laughs> like Rick and Morty or something, but uh, uh yeah, I tried to take my mind off of the i mean of their game i i was watching the commentary for a while but then i couldn't watch it so <laughs> uh me and gaiski went for a walk and uh, once the result was done my father came running to us and said it's it's over so <laughs> yeah probably the walk was the uh turning point <laughs> thank you very much congratulations on your on your victory thank you rats Um you mentioned earlier in the tournament uh, that your parents had wanted you to be a sportsman they wanted you to be a tennis player you said but I guess they'll set us settle for a world champion chess challenger um could you have, tell us a bit about uh, what, your conversations with with your dad or if you with your mom if you've spoken to her since the results uh, became clear uh unfortunately I haven't had the chance to talk to my mom yet I mean it was so hectic this uh, uh going back to the hotel getting to know the result and coming back again so um yeah I really look forward to talking with my mom but my but obviously my dad was there and I I mean he was super super happy and uh yeah 
I'm sure my mom is also very, uh, very happy and yeah, I'm really happy to, you know, uh, make them, make them enjoy this success and uh, hope to keep making them proud. Stefan Löffler, Frankfurter Allgemeine. Um, you spoke about your mindset. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got into this mindset, some routines, some things you do like mental training or whatever, uh, or meditation or whatever you do? Uh, sure, I, I, I didn't do anything uh, specifically for this tournament, but just the usual routines that I've always been doing. I, I have my routines during the tournament and I was quite, and I was following them quite, uh, um, quite uh, strictly. And I think that was quite helpful. And the mental state, I think, um, I mean, I tried to think about what I wanted it to be like before the event, and uh, yeah, it was better than I could have hoped for. Do we have any more questions? Well, if not, I will... Can be specific about these routines? That was the question that you um, had during the tournament that you mentioned. Well, I have different kinds of routines, not everything I'll... Uh, I'll reveal, but uh, you, the things I've said before, like yoga, um, some some meditation, yoga, this these have really helped me. Nayevsky, uh, you have worked with uh, Vishy Anand before, and now with Gukesh. So, can you tell us uh, what are the similarities and differences you felt working with both of them? I mean, this is a tricky question because Vishy may be listening to the press conference <laughs> right now. Um, obviously, uh, the similarity is uh, the sharpness, which is outstanding for both of them. And uh, for the difference, I would say mainly the character, because uh, Vishy is the brilliant one. He is the one who sees it first, whereas Gukesh is the calm one. He, and this is a huge advantage in chess when you manage to stay cool uh, during the entire game. And I've noticed that people are so impressed by this, uh, by the way he actually managed to keep his composure even in the most stressful moments. So I think, uh, and uh, yeah, I think this is the main thing that, uh, apart from, of course, uh, being a, a brilliant chess player, I think this is the main thing that decided in that tournament. Do we have any more questions? Well, with that, with that we congratulate you once again, Gukesh. Yeah, thank you. Amazing performance. Thanks. Thank you.